Hello there, welcome everybody. It's Diorama Don here yet again. And the subject this time, as you can see, is dragon's teeth and tank stops. Uh, kind of three in one video, if you like. Um, the tank stops and two different designs of dragon's teeth. Um, I have made dragon's teeth in the past, about 18 months ago. Uh, but 200 modelling videos later on, I feel I can make a, a, a better job of it. So that's what I've done this time. Uh, a little more realistic and a, a better version of uh, Dragon's Teeth. So without further ado, let's get into the video and I'll show you how I went about making them. Uh, before then, of course, <laughs> please subscribe to the channel. Uh, click the subscribe button, click the notification bell and you will be informed when new videos come along. Click the thumbs up, click the share button for whatever reason and uh, all will be good in the world. Okay, so let's get into the video and I'll show you how I went about making all three items. So we'll start off with the metal tank stops first. So that's the kind of thing we're, we're going to try to make. And I'm going to use these uh, lollipop sticks or popsicle sticks. Uh, I prefer these wider versions you can normally get from hobby shops or uh, stationers. And uh, cut the round bit off on the end and then cut to two and a quarter inches long. And that's the same as 58 millimeters. So you're left with a load of pieces like this. Okay, then you need to mark off three sixteenths of an inch and cut. Uh, well, you'll need three pieces for each tank stop. So depending on obviously how I'm going to make three. So I need nine pieces, three sixteenths wide. And also nine pieces, a quarter of an inch wide, six millimeters. So you'll end up. If you're only making one, you'll need three pieces, a quarter, three pieces, three sixteenths. OK, then with PVA glue, uh, the white uh, PVA school glue, uh, just stick that on like that to make to make an angle like that, which is what most of the tank stops were made from this ang angular type uh, material some were h se h section uh, some were solid uh, but generally if you look at uh, photos they're, they're generally this uh, angled section so once the glue is dry you'll have three pieces looking like that uh, now the awkward bit you need to make with the uh, off cuts you'll have off cuts uh, from your popsicle stick uh, cut to a quarter of an inch square and then cut them diagonally. It's a bit fiddly, but uh, you can do it with a sharp knife. Uh, so you can put them on the ends like that. OK, so you've got the triangle on the end, so they're, they're, they're enclosed. OK, once you've got that, then you will need another piece that's five eighths of an inch square 16 mil and then cut that diagonally also and that one of those will stick halfway along the uh, one of the uh, uprights then <laughs> that will stick on there so once you've got that stuck on there and put that on there to make a cross. That'll make a cross like so. Okay, then when you've got that, you'll need another piece or the other piece of uh, triangle and put that, oh, which way? There, like that. On that uh, cross member there. And then that will sit on there like so so you'll have that shape okay and you should end up 
with something looking like that. Okay, I think that's, well, it's as clear as I can make it anyway. Uh, spray it black and then I've just given it uh, a little bit of uh, red oxide just to show a little bit of rusting on the top. But that's basically one tank trap. Um, uh, sorry, tank stop, tank trap, tank stop. So I'll, I'll make three more, or yes, I'll, I've got three more to make four in all. Um, and I'll come back and uh, show you the finished thing. Okay, so we've got our four tank stops now. Uh, I've painted them black and then a bit of red oxide over the top. Uh, but you can uh, weather them better yourself, perhaps. Okay, so there the tank stops. That's that done. Now we need the dragon's teeth. So there are two types of dragon teeth. Uh, one like that, one like that. So we'll start with this one, the easier one. And you need two millimeter card and you need to cut them an inch and a quarter square. Inch and a quarter that way, inch and a quarter that way, or 32 mil, 32 millimeter square piece of card. Okay, then find the center line on one of the sides and you need to measure a quarter of an inch either side of the center line. So we've got a half an inch or 12 millimeters. And then cut down there and cut down there. Easy. So what you do then when you've got, uh, well, four per uh, dragon's, <laughs> four per tooth. So put them together like that and glue those. Um, I'm using PVA glue, but you could use hot melt glue, I suppose. Uh, but if we're going to keep them square, which is what we want to do, and these are all the same size, then when you put the... Oh, I haven't got another one. When you... <laughs> when you put the piece on this side, it will sit on there, on, on this face here. So it's... it's uh, uh, mm. <laughs> It's up against this face to put that there. There'll be questions later. <laughs> so that will stick on like that. So it's on that face. But then when you put the next one on, it'll be up against that face. So that the fourth one that you put in will fit in exactly and make a perfect square again. Have you got that? I hope so. <laughs> but anyway, it will make it will make a, a perfect square, and then just stick a top on the top. So whatever size that is, I'm not quite sure. I think it's something like five eight square, and then uh, put that on the top. Then you can sand it all around and make it uh, more smooth, uh, 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 like a a solid block, if you like. OK, because we're, we're not going to leave it like that. We're going to uh, do stuff to it a bit later. But that's basically the cardboard shape that you need. And they're the sizes. OK, so I'm going to do a few more of those. And then the other one may be a little bit more complicated. So you need, uh, for each one, you'll need two pieces. Again, two millimetre card. Uh, three inches long and an inch and a half wide or 75 millimeters by 38 millimeters and then just these two dimensions that you need one three eighths and then one half an inch or eight millimeters and then 12 millimeters and then cut down there and cut down there until you end up with that shape okay so that's you need two of those and then where are we then you need another piece two and a half inches by an inch and three eighths or 64 millimeters by 36 millimeters and again you need to cut this again so you've got half an inch in the middle on, on the uh, top there and then just cut 
down to the corners. So you've got that shape. And you might want to put a um, chamfer, a, a corner piece. What, uh, what's the word? What is the word where you cut it at 40? Mitre. <laughs> you might want to mitre the end just with a sharp knife on the end there because that's that's going to sit on there and you'll, you'll need that to be level across there. So that will stick on there like so. And it will naturally lean over like that. Okay, and then one the other side as well. Right, got that. Then <laughs> you'll need another piece of card, uh, inch and a half by seven eighths or 38 millimeters by 23 millimeters. And this time you just need a three eighths uh, gap or three uh, in in the middle of the, this uh, this line uh, three eighths and then cut down to the edges or the corners as well until it looks like that so you'll glue those on like that and this will be the top It'll be easy when they're all stuck together. Anyway, they'll look like that. <laughs> so you'll have these two pieces, then stick the front on, stick the back in, and then again you'll need a, a top. Uh, I think these are half inch square, something like that. And stick that on the top. And you'll end up with something like that. So I will go away and I will uh, make as many as I need. I'm going to make um, five 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 or six another five of each of these and uh, I'll come back and we'll see what we have to do next okay so I cut all my bits of cardboard and stuck everything together so now we've got everything complete and then I just gave it a coat of uh, watered down wall filler just to uh, give it a, um, a basis for putting my grout on to make it look a little more concrete looking but uh, I, I gave it just a slightly rough uh, kind of finish rather than uh, perfectly smooth although I, I, I'm not sure that some photos they look like rough castings and others uh, quite smooth finishes so whatever up to you <laughs> so all I do now I've got some uh, grey tile grout mixed with water and some PVA glue mixed in as well so that it uh, sticks sticks better and then just daub this on all over like so don't need too much we're going to take it all off now. So with a damp washing up sponge I'll just keep dabbing away at that until it looks uh, more concrete looking. Tell you what, that would be easy wouldn't it? I'll just do this one and then uh, go away and do the rest and that'll be it okay I'll spend a little bit more time on it but that's basically the finish that it will be <laughs> it'll look better when it's dry honestly okay so I'll do the rest of these and then set it into a bit of a diorama and uh, we'll see what they all look like when they're completely finished. Okay, back in just one moment. Okay, so all dried out now. Um, where I put that rough texture of uh, wall filler on, uh, I just went over with uh, some sandpaper when the grout had dried, just to bring out the highlights. Uh, and it makes it look like a reasonably good um, concrete texture. 
Okay, so there we are, dragon's teeth and tank stops. And I know <laughs> you wouldn't have uh, dragon's teeth like this in a, a city. Uh, the tank would just push them along the cobbled road. They were normally between, uh, well, on border lines really, between Holland and Germany and Belgium and Germany. That's where most of them were, I think. <laughs> I'm not a historian. Uh, anyway, that's my version then of um, dragon's teeth. Uh, very simple to make. Uh, if you're doing a, a 135 scale diorama, um, and also for uh, wargaming, I understand. So <laughs> I don't really know much about that, but um, that kind of thing, where that where you would use dragon's teeth. Okay, I'll leave it with you. Um, thank you for watching this video. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. Just click the subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll be notified when new videos come along. So um, until the next time with uh, something new, I wish you the very best of happy modeling. <laughs>